right, we're just going to wait here for a minute. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? We're just going to wait a few more minutes to get started. All right, I see y'all loading up right now. Welcome back to another edition of Backstage, World of Step Backstage. I am Dave James from National Stepping Association as part of the World of Step Alliance. And we got a treat for you guys right now. I am waiting for our special guest, the Royal Vision Step Team. And I believe, look at that, I love punctual people. Look at that, they are right on time. Here they come, all right. Let's do this. Hey, 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 hold on. Hey, look at Hi, What's good going evening. On? What's going on? <laughs> How are you? I am great. I am great. In case you don't remember who I am, I'm Dabe James from Hi. the Association. And everybody, we are here with uh, Monique from Royal Vision. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really excited about um, this interview. Um, one, because Royal Vision, you know, my step team is actually Vision. Vision Step First. So I'm like, Oh, I, yes. I was, awesome. Okay, they just took it to the next level. They are Royal Vision. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. And the children came up with that. I didn't even come up with that name. When I first started the team back in 2011, we were thinking, because our whole theme at the school was royalty. And that's what they came up with themselves. And I was like, after we got through, oh, all these other names, when they landed on that one, I'm like, I can rock with that. <laughs> I love it. No, that that's actually yeah, we had a similar thing. And I am actually gonna ask um about uh your team because I, I just love it. I love it. I got to see, I've seen you guys quite a few times and then uh the last time I saw you we were in DC. Yes. And yes. um that's 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 a little bit but let's go back for a second. Tell me a little bit more about the team. So you said you started in 2011 and... Started in 2011. Where, um, where, where about? Where are you guys from? Uh, Brownsville, Brooklyn. Brownsville, okay. stand up. <laughs> All Brooklyn, right. stand up. Um, out them out. That's it's right. a middle school team, six to eight, a uh, competitive traveling team. I always like to say that as well. Um, we believe excellence uh, can be... Excellence can be with any zip code. So it doesn't matter where you're from. You can still be great. Uh, exactly. So we do a lot to like champion that. Uh, that's why we have things Bronzeville Brilliance. Because, um, you know, greatness comes out of everywhere. It doesn't matter um, where you came from. It doesn't matter how hard you work and what you do. So uh, that's like our model. And we are very hardworking. Um, we, uh, you know, my thing about having World Vision is not only just about being excellent on stage, it's about excellence in the classroom, excellent even out within your community, because that's also important with all the things that go on in our community. You're representing royalty wherever you go. So it's important that you keep that in mind. So um, we, we really hit hard with that. So if there are issues that you have out in the streets, it's going to be an issue for me when we come into practice. So it's very important to get, like have standards and have boundaries and hold to that and to represent uh, your school, your family, and your community well and do that all the time because those things go on with you even once you leave uh, Royal Vision. So those things are very important to us on at Royal Vision. So we are the coaches. Uh, I coach it, Monique Kachu, but I also have two other coaches. Uh, Shereen Johnson and Michaela Dolphin are also coaches for the, the team. And, you know, we work hard. We're, we're like Black Girl Magic. Three the hard way. That's how we say about our coaching uh, team there. So, and, and a very supportive family and very supportive parents. So we, you know, we be doing it with money, but we do a lot. <laughs> Got you. No, I love it. I mean, and you know what I lo really love about it is, I swear, we we have a, a mirror team now because we have started my vision with the same uh Actually, and we run on the same principles, and it's excellence straight mm -hmm. across the board. Uh, everything you just said, kudos, it's about excellence always um, yes. and carrying it on, and it becomes a lifestyle. And, and uh, I get it. I really do get it because we started out as a small middle school team, and then yeah. back in well, 2000, 
one. <laughs> so wow. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. been a while. I'm telling my age, it, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. But no, bravo, because everything that you just said really um, is so important. And so many of the teams in that I've interviewed and you watched the interview, step as, uh, as uh, not just a discipline, but a discipline overall, the impact you can have. But someone like you, some you as a coach and the rest of the team is just unbelievable. Mm. You yeah. know, um, um, so I applaud you for that because. Thank you. Thank teams, you so much. Yeah, no, I, I'm very, very serious. Because when you, when you start seeing that, especially after they start graduating and you start seeing the graduation yeah. and they start coming back to participate in other things. Mm. And yes. Well, that's the impact that you're having. That's I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so you guys got started in Brooklyn. You were out of there. Yes. Out of school. Um, yes. How much is the team now? Right now, currently, um, I'm actually going to have virtual tryouts in June. We currently have 26 steppers. This is probably the biggest my team has been. I usually stay around, but I'm usually around the numbers of somewhere between 16 and 20 is usually where my team falls this year. I just happen to have some really great sixth graders that came in. So um, they were just excellent. So there was a lot of them that were overall across the board excellent. So I don't ever stick to a number. I just want the best. So if the best happens to be 10, fine. If the best happens to be 24, fine. I want the best. That's what I'm interested in. Not necessarily like I need my team to be a certain number. Got it. And that's that's huge. And I love when the when when you get to feed the team with the younger ones, the sixth graders come in. Yeah. The sixth through twelfth yeah. and you always have to feed that team coming in, uh, because sometimes I know we get focused on oh well, you know, you get focused on that top group. And yes. then yes. get intimidated and you just you never give them a shot and then you just find out how really good they are. So yeah. kudos for that. Um but speaking of younger ages, when did you fall in love with Step? Talk to me about um, that. that we, I think I was talking about this last week. I fell in love with Step after watching School Days. I don't yeah. know about what age I was. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who is of a certain age is like, I think Step for me was, I started being like, I'm interested in this when I saw School Days. Yes. Um, and that had to be late elementary for me, something along those lines. That's when I was like, this is, and you know, even in school days, there's only a little bit of stepping in there, but it was just enough. But it was for me then to be, it was like gen- interested in what they're doing. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just enough. And so I remember seeing step then on some other platforms, and from there I was like, I cannot. When I was growing up, I didn't have step in uh, a group in Texas. I didn't have step in my middle school. It just happened, and I didn't have it in okay. my high school. Either, Hold, on. Hold is, on, I know. You 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 grew up in Texas, and you didn't have step. Anywhere around there? Not or- in my not in my um, younger years. Now, college, it was popping. But mm-hmm. it was so weird that I guess the schools I went to, I didn't go to. I, I mean, I grew up in a suburb outside of the Dallas Metroplex, which I know a lot of the Dallas schools had step popping. Oh. But for my schools, oh. they didn't have it. And that might have been just culturally because also who was running things and who we saw right. more often. Clearly, um, clearly. But by the time I got to college, I was like, this is, I have to be involved. And then I ended up joining a sorority and then just falling in love with stuff. And from then on out, it was like the thing I loved. I feel you. That's good. And, mm-hmm. and definitely, definitely shout out to that reference because school days was actually the first time for myself as well. So that, I think, like you said, a person, yeah. you know, that was it. And it was genuine too. It wasn't, you it didn't yes. even totally choreographed like some of the later movies that came out you know you could right uh, right angles and stuff no that was raw that was real yes Um, Yes. but um okay so let me ask you this uh as far as you with your team and everything else how are you guys feeling about competing now with the world of step i know we were doing one thing before but now here we go the world i mean you guys are competing against thailand and the uk and uh west africa peru how are you feeling about that um, I actually think it's really exciting. Like, I think the the whole thing about STEP is STEP is like, there's so many teachable and moments and learning opportunities. So to see someone, it makes you feel 
connected because you know when you're just in a regular season and before all this you're just practicing in your practice area if you know you feel very like this is me in my thing to see other people competing and being like oh my gosh and seeing different styles i even like that's why i like for the team even to travel like we need mm -hmm. to see because how we step in brooklyn is very different than how folks step in jersey and how folks step in texas right. like that is also so for my steppers to be like oh that's interesting look how look at their style like it's a very like exciting thing to see this art form so universal like it's uniting the world which which is what i love about world step this idea like we're bringing everybody from everywhere mm -hmm. is really exciting and at the same time you're you know you're in a competition so it's kind of like but at the, there's like something that then grounds us all. We all want to like do this to our fullest. We want to entertain. We want to bring good beats. We want to bring precision. We want you still want to bring the same things, although we all have different styles. So it's really exciting to be a part of it. I love it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, especially the different styles. That's a thing. And if, if our biggest takeaway yes. is a different, uh, just a whole other look and a whole other sound and a whole other you know technique, that's huge. That's huge. Okay, so yes. I want to um, yes. brief, briefly uh, dive into um, that um, the amazing submission that you had for World of Step this year, right? Huh. Um, that routine, yes. I, I, I remember it from it, seeing it live, and then after I watched it here, I was like, whew, that, that brought it home. It had everything for, for me anyway. Message, talk to me about that. Give me some insight on that routine from what why what i forgot what it was called um oh god the one we, ha the one we have going right now is uh Roy is the kings and queens of brooklyn so i have okay, yeah i have right. a small group that's doing that and then next week's the larger group but the kings and queens of brooklyn which is our theme for what would have been the fall theme basically was fall winter theme was royalty so um you know i think it's important that children especially children of uh color have some ownership over who they are and understand that they are part of something bigger and not only something bigger but something bigger and great so that's what yeah. that message is about like we are we are descendants of greatness we are royalty like we have ancestors who created things invented things had their own before whatever happened that these were great kings and queens and that we are part of that lineage so that's really the that why i was you know what this year let's start off with that let's start off saying that and it's not just a message for us as a message for any other child out there to know you or somebody it doesn't matter what may be what may you may look out your window and not see great things you are still within part of something great so that's why i was like y'all have to really embody that like that when you walk on stage, you need to be confident. You are royalty. You are some, you are a king. She is a queen. They are kings and queens. So it's important that we embody that. So that's really what the, the things, actually that's the running thing for this one. And then when I talk about next week is that we are this, this is what you need to prove to people. That's what you are. Let them know through your performance and people need to so like when you leave, people need to be like, "Yes, queen. Yes, king." People need to feel that. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep. And I, I, I remember uh, watching it, and I was like, you know, the takeaway was there, and it had a lot of different elements of bringing that power struggle back to the, you know, to the '60s power struggle kind of thing, that kind of thing mm -hmm. going on. I was like, okay, all right, just that kind <laughs> of theme. What, what do you love most about it? What do you love most about that theme? Like th one moment. What was your favorite, most powerful moment in that routine for you? Um, my favorite moment is, I'm big about how you start stuff. So my okay. favorite moment, honestly, is for this routine that's up right now, is when um, they open up with the words, you cannot beat what you can't be. This mm -hmm. right here is royalty. Like, mm -hmm. that is... I'm very big on like, you need to grab people's attention. Like people need to, if I was talking to somebody, I need to be like, what is happening here? And you need stuff that makes people stop and say, wait, what did they just say? So that honestly is like my favorite moment. Like we have, we open up with 
uh, some music and stuff that's around royalty. But that when those words come, you cannot beat what you can't be. This right here is royalty. That, mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. Now we're ready to rock. And they go yeah. into the step. That is my favorite moment. Like that opening. That is my favorite moment. Wow. Um, you know, I, I love um, that. That's actually so important for every team. Because when you grab not only the judge's attention out of the gate, but yes. when you that moment, especially if you're not first or in the middle, if you're just like within a routine, a group within a, yeah. a show, people after a yeah. while, everybody kind of glazes over, things start to sound the same. But man, that you grab them, say, "Wake up! No, we're not done yet. Wake up! Wake up!" You know. That's why I say. That's why I was like, I'm always. I was like, y'all, beginning. You cannot. You have to start. I'm into bit on starts and and mm -hmm. finishing strong. Like that's what the middle, of course, is important. But you have to grab their intention, and at the end, you need people feeling like I don't want them to leave. That's what you have people feel like. I want, I want them to. St is there more? I want more. Right. So that's why I was like, you have to start to open that has some punch, and then have them finish strong as well. So yeah, it's true. No matter, and I always tell, no matter if you go first, if you go last, it'll. As long as you have that strong opening. People will, if so if it's, like you said, it's been feeling like the same thing, but if you come and something, people are kind of like, okay, okay, I'm awake, I'm ready. And that's why I want judges to be like, okay, wait a minute, let me <laughs> reset, where's my pen? Let me get ready to write notes or do what I need to do. Um, you know, I'm getting some, I'm getting some information about uh, your team um, uh, today and some, and some awards that you guys got. Uh, I know. Today. I don't even know what they are. I missed the session today. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I missed it because I still have to do my work. <laughs> so I was like, oh, oh my yeah. God, I need to see what what children got today. So I could tell my kids that they got, because I'm sure they were also doing their school stuff during the day, because it was at noon today, and we, but I need to find out what they got. I'm so excited. I'm super excited. Oh, I wonder if I should reveal it here. I guess I could. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Okay, so <laughs> um, let me see. Uh, excuse my not looking right at you. I have to read it because I That's just. That's okay. No, no worries. No worries. Um, okay. Congratulations to the solo, um, "Shy Ain't Shy," and that was done by um, Shailene. Shailene. Yes. yes. She got yes. the Amazing Confidence Award. Oh, so that's wonderful, and that so fits her. Oh my God, that's great! <laughs> Yay! Uh, that so fits her. Uh, let's. We have another bit of congratulations for another solo. Um, I am name Naim. Oh, Naim. Right? Naim. 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 The, the, his routine was called the name is Turner, and it's uh, Naim Turner is the name of the stepper. Naim. Yes, I'm looking at it now. Like I said, it's coming down as we speak. Second place, novice award. Uh-oh. Hold on. I think I lost you for a second. You got me? I lost you. Can't hear you. I can't hear you. Lost your audio. Did it jump to someplace else? Not sure. <laughs> um. All right. You know what? If you want, we can jump off and then jump right back on. All right, y'all, hold on just one second. She had to jump off. She's going to jump right back on, and we'll take it from there. Qu quick question. Want to make sure it's not just me? Okay, let's see. All right. Hang in there, y'all. Hang in there. Hang in there. I want to make sure it's not her. And it's not me. And she should be back on in just a second. Can you hear me now? Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Um, so, no. Okay. So, that was second place novice award. And uh, congratulations goes out to Jules. Uh, Pandemic Won't Stop Me. Another amazing confidence award. Yes. Big, oh, come on, wonderful. Let's... I'm so proud of them. I'm telling you, that was uh, 
that uh, I'm actually, so but, proud. That's so great. I can't wait to like the minute I get off here, I'm gonna be like texting them, be like, did y'all? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love it. Congratulations to them. Um, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm going to, okay, I got one couple, couple other questions for you. Okay. How do you come up with the choreography? How do we come up with the choreography? Yeah, how do you, do, how do you come up with, you have a method for coming up with your choreography? Um, there's a mix of, so, you know, we have Royal Vision, the step that's a traditional step. We've had that since forever. And Miss Dawson uh, is the one who brought that to the team and taught the team. So it's really a mix of a lot of our choreography because Miss Johnson is, uh, she is a teacher, but she's also like a for real dancer by trained by. Mm -hmm. So she's also amazing what she comes up with. Sometimes we merge things. I come up with stuff uh, as mm -hmm. well. Sometimes I'll have a vision, kind of share that load of stuff but uh do a lot of times we'll do we'll do mashups so we'll take like an old step and then we'll add something new or we'll take chop up a bunch of steps and then merge them into something and call them something so we have Got different it. methods on how we come up with our our steps and routine got it got it hold on up uh. oh boy hold on i think we're going i think we're losing your audio again Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm not. I'm telling you. Okay. No problem. Hold on. <laughs> All right, guys. I need you to hang in there. In the meantime, um, just know it's the last week for registration. Please go to World of Step com. Make sure we're voting. Make sure your registrations are in. And hey, you know what? Got to be in it to win it, right? So I think we're back. Let me just see how we're doing. Uh, but yeah, make sure that we are, uh, you guys are, are checking in your vote, 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 vote. Let's see. I think she's coming in. All right. Let's try it again. I know. Oh my gosh. Technology is great <laughs> when it's working. Not a problem. It's not listen, so great when not it's not problem. working. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm a technology director in, in the city, you know, for schools, and and I'm telling you, this it's it's great, but it's there's struggles. Um, all right, so I'm gonna write, I'm gonna keep it short because I don't want you to have to keep coming back on and off. Uh, pandemic aside, or prior to the pandemic, what's one of the biggest struggles your team has? Um, hmm? our biggest. Struggle? <laughs> I thought I lost you again. Uh. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Yes. You can't hear me? Yes. Or you can't hear me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Um, you know, our struggle really is we have a great personality, flavor. Um, our consistency with our precision is a struggle for us <laughs> because we have, mm. we're like kind of, we like to, like one day it could be on for a show and the next day I'll be like, ah. <laughs> so it's honestly, mm. um, as far as when I think about a challenge that my team as a whole has is that that's where you are consistent when it comes to very clean precision for us can be, I can have a show where I, and then I have another show where I'm like, what happened? What happened? So mm -hmm. that has always mm -hmm. been something that I'm always trying to work. I was like, you all have to be consistent every show, every time it can't be one week. And then the next week we're like, uh, today we're not putting, we're not putting our arms straight up like we can't be that it needs to be every time right right no i get that i definitely get that <clears throat> well i must say that even in the midst of that um you would never know it <laughs> um based on the times i've seen you that doesn't seem like that would be a struggle for you but i know i know you're telling the truth i definitely know you're telling the truth on that okay so now it's your time uh-oh are you still, still do i still have you uh-oh Please stand by. Okay, you still there? Oh, the sound went out again. All right. I got, but you got to go off and come back on one more time because I need you to be able to shout out, tell everybody where they can find you, tell everybody how to vote for you. I need all that stuff. So go off real quick one more time and come back. <laughs> can you do that? Now, now you can't hear me. Boy, I tell you. 
<laughs> well, uh, uh, it, sure. I just have to nod and agree because I can't hear you. Yes. Okay. Uh, make sure you check out Royal Vision Step Team. We really appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Yes, absolutely. Make sure you're going to worldofstep.com and that you are voting. Please remember, you only got a couple more days for registration for uh, this, this section. So please. All right, guys, for this one, thank you very much for tuning in. Show some, show some love before we end it. And uh, we'll talk to you real soon. Bye.